Boom. Is. Hello again and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Polish Pete and I'm eBay reseller based in UK. I buy cheap ladies clothing in bulk and I sell them individually on eBay for profit. I've got another what sold video for you today guys, but before you start, if you watched few of my videos and you keep coming back, please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so yet. Thank you very much for that indeed. So guys, a very good week last week. It must be my record since I've started to uh, re record these videos, guys. Uh, it's definitely not my kind of career high, sort of speak, as we took substantially more during the first lockdown, guys. Yeah, we had uh, five days over 100 pounds in sales and two days over 50 pounds in sales. So, yeah, very good, very good indeed. Uh, my vintage haul has failed uh, after 14 days of looking for it uh, they have decided that they don't have it in stock uh, so they have refunded me the money so very much thank you um, bulk vintage for screwing me uh, as I won't have enough time to order something else somewhere else and you know wait for it to arrive and actually process it before i go back to poland so i was really 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 excited but shit happens guys yeah uh, i didn't want to order something else from them actually because the rest of it was like i didn't have knowledge the the job that i have ordered i had knowledge about it and this is kind of my first step into the vintage, so I wanted like a thing that I at least know something about. Yeah, but enough rumbling and bumbling. Let's go and have a look at some numbers and what exactly has sold last week. So last week, guys, from this Monday the 2nd to Sunday the 8th of May, we have sold 69 items for a total of 736 pounds and 18. 18 pound pence. Uh, we had 27 orders in the bracket 5 to 10 pounds, including postage. 30 orders in the bracket 10 to 15, 7 orders 15 to 20, and one order over 20 pounds. As you can see, vast majority was cheap items. We had three multi item orders with a total of six items in it, and we have sold 26 items via promoted listings, uh, which has costed us. Four pounds and forty-four pence. In terms of quick goals, we didn't hit that average eleven pounds sale, uh, considering single items, individual items. But we hit it, considering uh, orders because of those multi-item orders. We only listed twenty items, uh, which is an estimation because I didn't count them really. Uh, we've sold sixty-nine items instead of fifty-six, and we took seven. 136 instead of 577 which is absolutely smashing good so first item that has sold last week was this uh, next a light mini skirt size 14 and we have sold it for 8 pound 50 plus postage <coughs> excuse me this is a beaver bulk vending machine capsule wheel conversion kit that is a leftover from my previous business, which was uh, vending operating. Uh, I was vending op vending machine operator. I sold it for 9.99 with free postage. It was cheap. Uh, I could have had more, but I wanted to uh, sell it quickly. And this is what I have got, which I'm happy with because that business has been closed uh, many years ago. Uh, these new look cord shoes uh, with kit and heel. These have sold for $11.99. We had it for three to six months and we already have a positive feedback for them. So good. This the very denim mini skirt size so only 12. Uh, this has sold for £8.50 as an offer to a watcher, which is good again. These, this bundle of five tops it was only size 8. 
this has sold for 849 plus postage, which is okay. It was like uh, just a t shirts and, and stuff like that, or even uh, like a camis or tank tops and a Fila t shirt as well. Yeah, 10 pounds. Happy to see it gone and happy to take the money. That was, these were items that were not really viable to sell them individually anyway. <clears throat> These Lotus Court shoes, very nice shoes, very nice shoes to be fair. A nice blue color. These have sold for $12.99. Uh, sorry, for £32. Uh, I had them originally for $19.99. Then, then I dropped the price to $16.99. Then I had them in 15% uh, sale. I was sending offers left, right and center. But nobody was taking it. And finally, customer came with 13 pounds, and I took it, and I got four positive feedback for them already. Uh, this uh, Joe Brown's top uh, size 16. This was a return returned items. I sold it once uh, before for I think 11 quid. This time 12.99. Hopefully, it will stay there. These uh, workwear trousers by MNS, they, they were size 12, they have sold for 9.99 plus postage. Uh, this pro mode, pro mode, pro, pro mode, uh, midi bodycon jumper dress, they uh, have sold for 8 quid, and that was a retailed item as well. Uh, these Dorothy Perkins bootcut jeans, these have sold, these were all the size 12. These have sold for £8.50. I had them for six months. That was an offer to watch. This fat face A line skirt, uh, size 12, khaki in color with some flower design. This has sold for full asking price $9.99. These heavenly souls, I've sent. There are about 10 offers on them for £12.50. Nobody has taken it. So when the customer came with 11, I just took it. Uh, this MNS Peruna Cordroy trousers sold for 9 99 Original price for them uh, on my account was 11 99 That was an offer to the watcher, which was accepted quite quickly. These Roman crop trousers, they were only size 12. They have sold for $9.99, again $11.99 original price, and that was an offer to watch. These MS trousers, size 16, a purple in color, quite nice uh, trousers to be fair. They have sold for $8.50 as an offer to a watcher. This Cintra Rowley uh, A-line mini dress, it was only size 8, only sleeveless as well, nothing very in here, $9.99 original price and sold via, uh, via markdown sale 50%, $8.49 plus postage. This MS button shirt was size 22, so very nice size. However, it took, uh, it took 18 months to sell, uh, $8.50 as an offer to a watcher. This jigsaw. A-line summer skirt was only size 12, however it was linen, uh, yeah, and jigsaw. We had it for $14.99 and sold it for $12.50 as an offer to watch. This uh, new look shorts, they were size 12, rusty red color, very nice. Uh, yeah, they have sold for full asking price $8.99. <coughs> This next uh, denim jeans were size 16, however, they were petite. Petite doesn't sell that quick, so I was happy to take nine quid for them. And that was the best offer from the customer. This next A line maxi skirt it was size 18. Uh, yeah, but it wasn't like kind of a nice thing, to be honest. Uh, this has sold for 9.99 and it's a returned item as well. so it's sold again. Hopefully this time it will stay there. Uh, this denim slim fit jeans, they next by next, they were only size 12 and they have sold for full asking price 9.99. These Rohan 
the worker trousers, uh, they have sold for $12.99 full ask price. They were size 14. The yeah, linen blend kind of office trousers, summer office trousers, really. This MS A-line skirt was size 14. Uh, nice floral design. This is sold for full ask price $9.99. And this M car, I don't know this brand, however, it has sold for 8.50. A line pleated uh, midi skirt. Yeah, it was wool black, it was pure wool. That is why the, the price. So, yeah, uh, 8.50 is an offer to a watcher. Sorry. Uh, yeah. And the last item was these denim cropped jeans. They were size 18. I only got 8 quid for them. However, uh, well, I've sent an offer for 8.50. The customer came back with 8. I said, you know what, go on then. I'm not, I'm not here to store them, I'm here to sell them. So we had 8 quid, and that was the last item of the week. So in terms of the money, eBay has only transferred us 578 pounds and 12 quid. We had absolutely no sales on Monday. I think we had only three sales on Monday, and they were quite low. That is why uh, this kind of doesn't include Monday. Monday, or I, I mean this week, Monday orders, there was only a few of them. Uh, yeah, so out of 700, only 578. Not too good, but not bad at all. Uh, so we have sold 69 items, so we have to set aside 138 pounds for postage. It worked out less because we sent more and more tops now, which are going as a large letter. And we had to set aside 69 quid as a cost of goods, which leaves us with a profit of 371 pounds for last week. And our counter count days from last week, zero sales day is now on 16. Yeah, guys, very happy about the sales, very happy. Uh, we are selling a bit cheaper than usual, but way much more items. So at the end of the day, there is more money in the bank and that's the only thing that counts really, the money in the bank. Uh, shame about my vintage order, but that's life. Uh, you know, like I've said, I wanted something that I've got knowledge of. <coughs> Excuse me. Maybe next time. That's it for today, guys. I hope you found this video interesting. If you have, please don't forget to click that like button. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, consider doing so. See you next time. Have a great week. God bless you all. God bless people of Ukraine. Bye-bye.